Hillary Rodham Clinton becomes the first woman to be nominated by a major party for President of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, my mother, my hero, and our next president, Hillary Clinton. It was her turn in the spotlight after days of electrifying speeches by party heavyweights, including President Barack Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, and First Lady Michelle Obama, praising her and cautioning that Republican Donald Trump would be dangerous and divisive. No matter how daunting the odds, no matter how much people try to knock her down, she never, ever quits. And that's why I can say with confidence there has never been a man or a woman, not me, not Bill, nobody, more qualified than Hillary Clinton to serve as President of the United States of America. Stronger Together is not just a lesson from our history. It's not just a slogan for our campaign. It's a guiding principle for the country we've always been and the future we're going to build. A country where all our children can dream and those dreams are within reach. Where families are strong, communities are safe, and yes, where love trumps hate. All the time, how does she do it? How does she keep going amid the sound and the fury of politics? Here's how. It's because she never, ever forgets who she's fighting for. A senator for eight years, a first lady for eight years, and a secretary of state for four years, Hillary is now bracing up against New York business mogul Donald Trump of the Republican. You really think Donald Trump has the temperament to be commander in chief? Donald Trump can't even handle the rough and tumble of a presidential campaign. He loses his cool at the slightest provocation. When he's gotten a tough question from a reporter, when he's challenged in a debate, when he sees a protester at a rally, imagine, if you dare, imagine, imagine him in the Oval Office facing a real crisis. A man you can bait with a tweet is not a man we can trust with nuclear weapons. In just slightly over three months, Americans will make a decision on who between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump will be their next commander-in-chief. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen Weekend.